Leo, hi Leo, this is your blue moon reading. Happy blue moon. Um, October 31st, a very magical day and night. The ability to see and hear and pierce the veil. See things you wouldn't normally see, hear things you wouldn't normally hear. As long as you're open to what's coming. So we're going to pick three cards. We'll get clarifiers if necessary. And let's go. Can I have a card for Leo, please? Card for Leo. Card for Leo, October 31st. All right, we have the seer in the reverse, but we'll read it both ways. We have the hangman. And hierarchy. So I see lots of red. Root chakra, I see lots of um, purple. Be the crown or the third eye. Um, Keyword to envision. So there could be something you're not seeing because you're, or it could be that you're seeing something in a different way where you would normally, holy cow. Where you would normally see it, um, let's say if you'd see it with your third eye, it comes in through maybe something you hear, something you touch, something you taste. Um, it'll come in a different way. So in the reverse, it says, whatever you have held to be the truth in this matter is not the actual reflection in reality. So whatever you thought was the truth you're going to see in a different way something you have not seen or imagined is going to change things you can see through deceptive impressions if you ask discerning questions before you commit yourself ask lots of questions if I was to read it in the upright stand out of the way of your rational understanding sense see and feel the truth for yourself what images arise what feedback do you sense how do the question make you feel how is reality arising and being shaped by your hopes fears and expectations so i'll read it this way again just in case whatever you have held to be the truth in this matter is not the actual reflection in reality Something you have not seen or imagined is going to change things. You can see through deceptive impressions if you ask discerning questions before you commit yourself. So being um, in limbo on this day, you're going to feel vulnerable, but you have to ask questions so you can get a different perception of how you're viewing something. The hierarchy card. Established belief, tradition, gradual progression, ascension, ambition, and secrets. And this is usually when you, this is when, <clears throat> excuse me. So if you see whatever you thought to be truthful and traditional, but you take the time to see it in a different way. This is when the tables turn, the power shifts. This is a shift of power. So let's see what it is that you need to see in a different way on October 31st.
and you've got the Queen of Wands. It talks about wine. Wine is a symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. So you could be looking out for a, uh, this, I mean, this could be you. This could be another female fire sign. This could be you possibly in a position of playing the other woman and you put an end to that, tables turn. I don't know if somebody has a hobby of drinking and maybe you want to change that. Maybe somebody's not feeling so confident and maybe that needs to change. So October 31st is going to bring some sort of revelation, clarification where you see something in a different way and the tables turn. Good luck, Leo. Happy Blue Moon.